Hey guys, so welcome to another YouTube video and in this video I'll be showing you guys how I came up with this um, industrial design product and just rendered it in Blender. Let's go. <clears throat> so I just started with the basic um, form of the object and um, my aim for this project actually is to, uh, is to create something really bold and something that is a statement maker, something that is really aggressive and harsh on the eyes. So I just started with right angle, harsh lines, and for this project, I utilized a lot of Boolean operations to help me out. So I used, um, I employed box cutter for it, and I also used a lot of hard ups. And you would see that in my workflow in putting together a project. Um, here, I'm just trying to carve out basic shapes of what I know is going to be included in the power station. So I knew that this was going to be like um, a monitoring system for it. That's going to be like a screen. So I went forward to creating some USB port because since it's going to be like a power station, I would like for easy access for USB port. I would like um, some USB-C also to be there. Um, going forward also, you would see me um, bringing in some more power outlets into into the product. The USB-C. So I'm just um, going to create an insert and then with the Boolean object itself, I'm going to extrude that. So it's going to create another element inside of the USB-C. So here I'm just creating more, um, more interesting more interesting fixtures. Um, I don't know the functionalities of these things, but what I wanted it to visually interpret was okay, these things are functioning, they are functioning stuff, they look mechanical and they look like something that makes sense. So for this, this there, was, there was a lot of Boolean objects and Boolean operations happening. So I don't know if I'll go into do a step-by-step -step tutorial for this, um, but I think with this timeless process, you'll be able to just get the general overview of how this was put together. So right here, I started creating some sockets. I don't know whether it's AC or DC. I'm not really so much of a technical or mechanical person, but I started creating some sockets somewhere that you can plug in basic appliances like maybe an extension, or um, a blender, stuff like that. I started making those. Um, I'm done with that now. And I started doing some more fixtures again. Um, this is, this. I named this as an AC socket, but I don't, I'm sure this is not an AC socket. So here, apart from the handle up top, I wanted to create something that two people could carry on both ends because it looks really heavy duty and it looks like something that actually weighs a lot. So I wanted to make sure that I have those two handles on those two sides. Um, for the main handle itself, since it's going to be metal, I wanted to make sure that it had a padding on it so it's, um, it's going to be convenient to carry around. So right here, what I'm doing is using the brilliant operation to create like an air vent so that heat generated from the inside of the product can always, can always come out. It's just like an air vent. I'm sure there might be a fan somewhere that would act as a cooling system for it. So I, I've gone down to the shading and for the shading, I wanted the metal to be, um, like a galvanized metal, but also had like a brush effect on it, just to create a cool pattern in the metal. Uh, and also creating like a plastic material for the main body. All of these are just basic, um, diffuse material this um not not much going on i think the only thing that added to these things are like a noise 
texture just so that it's not like a smooth plastic it has a little bit of character to it basically So right here, I just took a screenshot of the products in Blender just so I could go into Illustrator to create some annotations and just to provide a little bit more description to different parts of the model. And yeah, I I think I'm creating the UI for the screen, just the small part of the screen, just to show um, more information on what the product is and where the capacity is at as regards um, power, so all of these are just different numbers. I don't think there is any meaning to them. It's just for it to look cool. Then I put that into Blender. I made sure that the diffuse was connected. I also con connected it to the emission also so that it could bring out some lights. Then I created like a glass texture in front of it. So it's protecting the um, inner element and also just to make it look cool. Then I went on to lighting. For the lighting, I'm using an add-on called Light Studio Pro. It's a good lighting add-on for Blender. It has a key shot functionality where you can paint the light. So that's what I use to light this product. That's about it. I just went on to rendering. And that's it, guys. So long. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah, guys. Hey. I'm too. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm chilling with the MC Akatoa. <laughs>